Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell, go to the updates. Thanks for today's video. The beer's courtesy of Joe from the Beer Patrol. Thanks so much, Joe. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you watch me, you probably watch him. But if not, make sure you check him out. He's on a hiatus right now, but he'll be back. So definitely subscribe and uh, watch his old videos. Um, <clears throat> so I'm doing a theme week. Depending on when you're watching this, you might know, you might not know. And uh, I'm doing beers that have three or more adjuncts. And this beer is a beer that has three or more adjuncts. Uh, it's a collaboration uh, from Froth and Bob Bob Brew House. And they're out of, looks like Brookshire, Texas. And uh, it's called The Sandwich. Triple fruited sour ale, which I took to mean three fruits in it. And then uh, Max reached out to me and he's like, I think it's like they added fruit three different times, which would make more sense because a lot of these don't have three fruits and I've been making fun of them for that. But like always, I'm the one who looks like an idiot on the internet. <laughs> uh, so it's with uh, peanut butter, banana, strawberry, and marshmallow. It's 6.5% ABV. Uh, I did roll the can, so I, I hope all the, I don't, well, I assume it's kind of like their um, liquid lollipop series that they'll be like pureed looking chunks, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong and there won't be. Let's get into it. <clears throat> yeah, so Max also commented that um, he had a hard time with this one and that it looked like strawberry milk. And uh, yeah, I can see that, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, great can art also. <laughs> little Elvis there. But yeah, it does. It, it looks like a somewhat carbonated, decently carbonated, whatever descriptor you want to put there. Decently carbonated strawberry milk is pretty darn accurate. It's got that pink, dark pink, not quite black or black, not quite red. I'm so used to stout saying, you know, it's brown, but not quite black or whatever. Um, but not quite red, but there's some red in there. Reminds me of, like strawberry ice cream a lot, actually. Um, like if you made a, a strawberry uh, milkshake, it's kind of got that color. Um, there is some stuff sticking to the side of the glass. I usually say pectin, but it could be, I mean, I guess it could be peanut butter. I doubt it's marshmallow. So it probably is pectin of, of the fruit. Um, although they use like, uh, uh PB2 powder for the peanut butter, maybe. Anyway, let's get to the aroma. I get the fruit hitting. Ah, there's the peanut butter. Okay, actually, that's kind of nice. You, you get a nice strawberry, almost notes of raspberry as well. Um, but then you definitely get that banana. You definitely get that peanut butter. I don't get vanilla and or marshmallow on it. You, you know what? It's weird. You could almost tell me that there's bread in this because I, and I don't know if it's the jelly and strawberry vibe that's making me think, oh, bread. But like, I swear I'm thinking bread and I don't know if it's in the beer or just in my head. The, the color is weird, uh, but I do like the smell a lot. I guess like what else would the color be given what's in this beer? But anyway, <sighs> into the glass. Cheers. Thanks again, Joe. I actually mostly like this beer. The, the fruit to peanut butter ratio is really nice. About 80% into the experience, I get hit, like the sip, I get hit with almost, I don't want to say too much tartness, because I don't think a lot of people would drink this beer and think it's too tart, but it kind of takes me out from what I like about the beer. But if it wasn't there, you know, talk about the debate of is this a beer or not. If it didn't have that tartness cutting in, it, it, would, it, would, it would give a lot of evidence that this is not, in fact, a beer. So the tartness does tie a little bit to actually it's that kind of a beverage versus just, you know... Uh, pureed alcohol. I don't even know what you could call it otherwise, but um, I don't know. I kind of dig it. 
I, and I admittedly just ate dinner, and this is very desserty, so maybe it's just kind of hitting me right where I had, <clears throat> I had the savory, and now my palate's like, now I want something sweet. And this is delivering on it. And yeah, I really like how that peanut butter is coming through. It's, and this happens a lot in beers. You get the sweetness first. It's like the first thing you get. And then your palate maybe allows all the other flavors that are there. Um, it's probably biological or something. We want sweet things, but that's just me speculating. When it allows you to experience more, that's when the peanut butter comes in, which is just really pleasant. I mean, it kind of goes away, but the whole time there is that strawberry with that little bit of banana woven in. The more I'm drinking it, the less, I hate to say harsh, but less harsh that tart. Like the first sip, it, it came in and like knocked off, knocked out what I was really liking. That's happening less and less as I drink this beer. Um, I, I'm filming these out of order. The video I'm going to post tomorrow um, has crazy number of adjuncts and it has some maple in it and i didn't mention maple at all in the review and then when i was finishing it off camera as it warmed up i got a ton of maple and it is kind of interesting in beers like as you keep sipping it kind of how your palate it, 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 all to the point of getting fatigued sure but like your palate kind of can keep picking out the same flavors and or other things maybe morphing into other things expanding just new things in general. And that really happened here with that tartness not being so like, oh, I kind of like what was happening. Now I don't as much. Whereas now it's like, I like this whole kind of sweet experience. And yeah, looking for it in that sip, it's there. But yeah, because I'm so used to what the experience is, I'm totally fine with it. Probably doesn't make this a beer, but yeah, that's an interesting conversation that I'm sure some people would love to have in the comment section below. Any thoughts on this? Let me know. Uh, have you had this beer before? Have you had stuff from Froth? Can we call it a beer or not? Uh, yeah, that conversation's old, but whatever. If it gets us talking down there. Thanks again, Joe. I really appreciate it. Uh, check me out on Instagram. Check Joe out. Don't forget, check Joe out, uh, The Beer Patrol. Uh, check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews in both of those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.